Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you how to put the Venus Optics Lawa 10mm f2.8 0D full frame lens into an Eichlite 200DL housing for Sony cameras. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put an anti-reflection ring on the front of this lens. And that's because the Lawa lens has some white lettering on the front, which can reflect back into your image when it's used behind a dome board. We wanna put a small anti-reflection ring on that can be left in place, whether you're shooting underwater or on the surface and will help cut down on those reflections. I've got my anti-reflection ring here. I'm just going to peel that off the backing paper. And I find that it works most easily when I align the center of the ring with the outer edge of the lens. And then just kind of follow that around and press it down with my thumb to make sure it's all adhered properly. As I say, it's not gonna affect your shooting on the surface. Um, and I just leave mine attached always. You don't ever have to take it back off. If you were ever gonna go sell this lens or something, it does pull off cleanly, so you don't have to be worried about that. So I can set my lens aside, and now I wanna get my dome port ready to put on the lens. And what I need for this lens is a large diameter eight inch dome port. And with that, I need to use a 20 millimeter extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my extension to the dome port uh, before I get it attached to the housing. So to do that, I'm going to loosen my thumb screws on my dome until there's no threads protruding into the inside of the port diameter. And <clears throat> I don't have to do this to attach it right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my extension right now too, and that'll make it easier for me later when I go to put the lens in the housing. So everything's out and ready. I'm going to take my lubricant and I only use the Eichlite brand lubricant and that's because this is something that we've tested with our materials and our O-rings and we know that it's not going to cause any incompatibility which could include swelling of O-rings, cracking of plastics and things like that. It's really important to use a compatible lubricant and so I recommend just sticking with the very affordable Eichlite lubricant that's included with all of these products. I'm gonna put a very small amount on my fingers and then I'm going to run it around just the outer surface of that extension. I'm going to go ahead and just run it around the ceiling surface on the extension for when it's gonna go into the housing. And then I'm going to put some on the ceiling surface of the dome port. Then I'm going to take it and it's really important that I line up all of these thumb screws so that they're in the same position. So they're gonna be lined up and that's gonna ensure that they're gonna go into the correct pockets on the dome board and you're gonna get a good attachment point then. Then when I'm threading them, I can just use my fingers to thread them back in. I don't have to use a tool and in fact, I don't recommend using a tool because that leads commonly to over tightening, which could cause parts to become out of round. It could also damage the thumb screws or the parts of the port. So it's enough to just use your fingers and you see, I just tighten them till they stop. And if they're in the correct position, you're gonna be good to go. Now for this lens, because it's so wide, I actually want to remove the dome shade from the dome port. And I do that because if you leave the shade on, you're going to get some vignetting, which means you'll have dark shadowing in the corners of your image. And I don't want that, so I'll take the shade off. When I'm diving with no shade on my port, I wanna be extremely careful. When I'm underwater, I don't wanna be uh, bumping into the reef or 
objects. I wanna make sure that I'm very aware of where my port is in relation to everything I'm shooting. This lens focuses very closely and you can shoot very close subjects, but you wanna be aware that you're not bumping into stuff. You also wanna be very careful when you hand it out of the water to your dive buddy, whether they're on the shore or on a boat, be very careful how you're handing it so that the dome's not going to crash into anything. And when you're on this surface, you wanna be careful when you're putting it in a rinse tank, always hold on to it, don't let it hit things, and then put it in a very safe place once you're done rinsing it. Uh, cover the dome with either the neoprene cover or a microfiber cloth. Just make sure it's protected when the dome shade well, at all times, but especially when you don't have your dome shade attached. So to remove the dome shade, I've got to loosen these four uh, Allen head screws. So I'm just gonna use my little hex key and loosen those up, all four of them. And once that's loose, I can just pop it off. Make sure you keep your screws inside of the shade when you store it, just so that you don't lose those. And I'm gonna set that aside for when I wanna reattach it at some future date. All right, now we're ready to put this into our housing. So I've got my housing and I've got a USB bulkhead installed, which is optional in this housing. And that'll allow me actually to put all this together, I'll put the lens in, put the port on, and then I can leave it all set up for a day or for a week and still charge it and offload pictures through that USB bulkhead, never have to take it out. It's an awesome feature if you're gonna be doing a lot of shooting and don't wanna be always breaking down your gear. So I've got my lens, I'm gonna remove the rear lens cap of that. I'm going to remove the lens cap from the camera body. I've got a red dot on the lens that's going to line up to a white dot on the camera body. Bayonet that on. Okay. Now notice when I'm looking at my housing, I have three pockets for the thumb screws of the dome port. It's really important that I'm getting my thumb screws aligned with these pockets. If you don't, then that's going to potentially lead to it not sealing correctly or the port not being in the right position. So you want to be very, very aware that the thumb screws need to be going into these pockets. I will go ahead and put a little bit of lubricant around the outer visible surface of the O-ring on that port base. And then I'll put the excess on the ceiling surface of the extension. And while I'm doing that, I can feel that these thumb screws are not protruding into the inside of that. So we don't wanna catch the O-ring when we put it on. Then I'm going to find one of my thumb screws, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to line it up with the top center of the housing push it all the way down, and then just use my fingers to put those in. And if I feel any resistance, that's usually a sign that it's not aligned correctly. So it really should thread in easily and you don't need to tighten it with a tool or anything like that. Just tighten it until it stops. When it stops, the head should be flush against the extension and that's it. Everything's set up. Now what I would do is vacuum test this housing to check for leaks before I get in the water and I'm ready to go. Good luck and let us know what you shoot with the Lawa 10 millimeter lens.